This video is just going to demonstrate in a nutshell how you would use post edit compare in order to do an analysis between a document that's been machine translated like this one. So you can see I've just run this straight through machine translation. There's only 15 segments and every segment has the AT status in the middle. So what I'm going to do first of all is I need to save this as a version somewhere nice and safe. And to do that, I'm going to use the post edit versions plugin. And if I click on that over here, it's empty at the moment because I haven't used anything here at all before. But it puts a number of menu options across the top here. And in the projects view, you have this extra new button here, new project version. Now the project I'm currently got active is this one. So if I click on new project version, this brings up a little window like this, which allows me to give it a name. I'm going to leave the default name because it automatically numbers the different versions and will increment them by one every time. So it's nice and easy for me to leave that. It will store a version of this project in this location and you can change this location as well. And you can choose whether you want to keep a shallow copy. Shallow copy is only the STL proj file and the STL excellent files. So it won't contain any other resources like translation memories and things like that. If you want the full project, you can uncheck that box. I'm just going to keep a shallow copy because I don't need all the rest. You can give it a description if you like. So I'm just going to say, whoops, machine translated and continue. And that's it. This project has now been stored as a version. And if I go back to my post edit versions, you'll see now there's a version here. Now, in order to compare this with something, I obviously need to have the um, the post edited version, the finished version of the project. So I go back to the editor and I need to go through and post edit it. So I'm going to cheat a little bit. And here's one that I did earlier. So you can see now all my segments are confirmed and I have um, the first two are completely unchanged and everything else is now transparent because I've actually edited it. Now, because I didn't use track changes when I did this, which would mirror either not working with track changes or receiving a file back from somebody else who'd post edited it. Um, I have no mechanism here apart from playing a bit of spot the difference to see what changes I've made. And I certainly couldn't quantify the effort or the work that had been done here before. So what I can do now that I've got that, I can go back to my projects view and I can click on new project version. You can see this is now incremented to one. And in here, I'm just going to type post edited continue close and now if I go back to my oh, my post edit versions you can see now I have two versions so I can now compare these by clicking on both versions you can have as many versions as you like which is quite handy for backups and things like that as well so I click both and this icon here now becomes available to me so until then it's grayed out you can see that to select them both I just held down the control key when I was picking the two so I can now pick on compare with post edit compare and this will open the post edit compare application so that I can do the actual comparison. So when I click on that, so this opens up this little application here. And, and what I will see is in this, in this view, I will see a list of every single file within the project. Um, in this case, I've only opened a single file, so I've only got one file there. If I had multiple files, I'd see them all listed here and any files that are different are represented by this little equal sign with a cross on it and one side is red. If they were both the same, i.e. I hadn't made any changes yet, they'd both be black. So it's very easy to see the difference. And then all I would do is I would select the file I want and run a report. Now one thing I just want to show you first is that within the settings, I've actually set up a little price group. So in here you can see I've got some prices set up associated for various analysis bands. So when I do a comparison on the two, I can apply a price based on whatever my rates might be. I don't know how realistic my rates actually are here. If I just um, edit the price, you can see I've said for a, a new word, 50 cents off or whatever. And then there's a, a percentage of each value of that 50 cent to work out what the figure would be for a perfect match, context match, repetitions, exact match, etc., etc., depending on what I wanted. This is just an example, so whether it's realistic or not, I'm not sure. But that's what I'm gonna use. So I click on OK. So now that I've got that, I can click come over here and click on the Create Comparison Report. 
I do that, I can compare the selected files and pick the pricing group. So you could have multiple pricing groups. I click on next. And in here you can set the sort of columns that you want to see. So what I am going to do is to say, I'm gonna add here, show the original target segment column, just so that I can see the original target as well. Click on finish. So that runs through and creates a report for me. If you have a lot of files, this might take a little while. The graphs and things are uh, created through Google Analytics, so sometimes it can take a little while. But basically what it's showing you now is you can see the translation modifications um, between the two files, a post-edit modification analysis where it's applying the rates that I had. So I've just done 85, 85 euros worth of work. Yeah, that didn't take long, did it? And then there's a couple of little interesting graphs. Um, but the interesting thing is when I scroll down a bit further now, what you see is the source file, the status, and you can see that the draft is crossed out and it's now translated. The AT is crossed out because it's now amended and you can see the original target and then the target as it was updated. And then you see the target comparison with track changes. So it gives you an idea of how much work and how many changes you actually had to make when you were doing that work. Very nice, very difficult to get this any other way. I could show the whole file, but when I ran this report, I had an option set to only show the segments which have changed, which is why I haven't shown the first two segments here, but all the other 13 segments are there. So there's takes me all down to 15 and you can see how much work I had to do on that. This file can be saved as an HTML report. So that I can say file, whoops, I can say save. Um, it picks an HTML and you can save that whatever you like. And then you can send that HTML report to your client so that you can show him the amount of work, the amount of effort you had to do in order to correct the machine translation. So it's pretty cool. Very nice application and very simple to use. So I hope that was clear and we'll look at qualitivity next.